Westminster football has a long and proud history dating back to the first game in 1891 against Geneva College. In 1953, the program came into its own when a group of 13 talented freshmen came under the direction of new head coach Dr. Harold Burry. The result? Four years with only one loss and one tie. Three of Westminster's 11 undefeated seasons, three Tri-State Conference Championships, and the birth of a winning tradition. In the fall of 2006, six of these players met again at the Memorial Fieldhouse. These are their stories. I think one of the biggest reasons is that Coach Burry went out and got uh, Harold Davis and Bill White and Bill Moss and Bill Freshwater. And there were 13 Bowl. freshmen. Yeah, and Jamie Bowl. There were 13 freshmen that came in at the same time. And did score tests. And of all the 13 freshmen, uh, we all graduated. We were dedicated to to having a fine football team, thanks to Coach Burry and Riddle. You know, we came in as 13 strangers, but we went out as 13 brothers. Yeah. Because we Coach Burry also had a potent offensive weapon in Harold Davis. A promising young quarterback from Youngstown, Davis could have had his pick of football powerhouses like Ohio or Penn State. He chose Westminster instead. I was not coming here. Okay. And uh, until, was I. <laughs> until very late, and I was all set to go somewhere else. And but he he didn't stop coming. Well, he, he recruited my parents. They worked for him very hard while he wasn't there. Yeah. Uh, my my stepmom would even call him when other coaches would come around and, and have a meeting with him. And he'd also write over after they'd leave. And, and they didn't talk to me. They wouldn't even talk to me. Yeah. So uh, that's how I ended up here. Like, this was probably the last place in the world that I thought I'd be, but it turned out to be the best thing that ever happened for me. Where he would throw he would throw a football and I had to catch that thing. <laughs> and it was he did just, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I did. <laughs> yeah. It was it was like a dagger. That thing was just really burn right into you, and, and boy, you have to be on your toes to catch the ball. But yeah. We're the best small college team in the nation. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's what precipitated the fact that you know, they want to get you out of the ball. Yeah. 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 yeah, also the, the guy that was the head of the, of the uh, uh, College Football Hall of Fame uh, made the comments when Harold was inducted uh, uh, a couple of years ago and uh, he, he said that uh, he had seen the quarterbacks at both Penn State and the University of Pittsburgh and at Westminster College, and he says by far Westminster College had the best quarterback in the state at that time. Yeah, maybe if anything else, Harold Davis led the team four years with only one loss. And I, I swear to gosh that he uh, he could have very easily been a Division One quarterback and, and done a super job. Uh, you got to have that guy handling the ball in the backfield to move the team, and he really did did an excellent job. That's the only thing I would have had. given the ball to Harold to throw it and give the ball to Billy White to run it. We had it made. The players, however, credit Coach Burry and his assistant coach Buzz Riddle with shaping their skills and ultimately their character. He preferred running. Mm -hmm. I remember him telling us, you got to establish when you the throw a ball, three things happen and two of them are bad. Mm -hmm. He said it's either a completion, interception, or an incomplete. Right. Right. So had we been allowed to throw, this guy would have held every record was concert, <laughs> I think also uh, Coach Murray had believed in team speed. Now there wasn't a practice that we conducted that we didn't run one sprints. Mm -hmm. And overall, we had great team speed. Although I was the slowest in the back row. take good care of us if we needed any help in any of the any classes he would he would get someone to help us 
uh, on our board jobs in the off season. Uh, sometimes you couldn't make it. You, you only got three cuts in a semester. And sometimes you couldn't make it to the breakfast in the morning. <laughs> and, and then they would fire you from your job and he'd go in and get it. Well, at least he did for me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and, got, and got it back for him. But he took really good care. And, and that's one reason we called him Daddy. Yeah. And he, he really did. Uh, he wouldn't do anything that was below the board. He did right. everything above the board. Yeah. And he'd let you know that, you know, you screwed up, straighten yourself out. Well, Buzz Riddle also added yeah. a great dimension to the, to the team. And, and where, where Burry was a little on the nervous side and, and hyper side, uh, Buzz was calm and, and he was, uh, again, I think a great tactician and, and a good, good combination with Harold Burry. He, he just worked so well with him and they both worked well together and, and, I think they came up with great ideas and, and great things. And I think that it, that it was just a life-changing experience for me. I know. So all these guys are near and dear to me. More than 50 autumns have now passed for these players, bringing families, careers, retirement, and grandchildren. But two things haven't changed. The enjoyment they find in being together and their devotion to Westminster. These two are important and enduring parts of the Titan tradition.